What's up fam? This is Dustin Stelzer with another episode of Electrician U. And this is a tool review episode. <clears throat> um, recently I was sent a, uh, a 50 meter, which is about 164 feet, uh, laser distance finder or range finder. Um, but it's a way for you, I guess, to, uh, to be able to like point a laser and shoot off a distance instead of having to take a tape measure and try to get like a hundred foot tape measure or get like one of those rolling wheels and have to walk around and, and uh, find distance. This is like something you can stand in one position and get all your measurements. So super excited to test this, this thing out. There's a lot of brands of these. Um, Bosch has a brand. Uh, there's a, a whole bunch of different brands. Um, but I was excited to get this sent to me because I've been wanting one. I want to try out a brand. So let's see how Tack Life does. So first thing, you open the package and uh, it comes with a, a nice little bag that, it, that the laser itself comes in. There's a user's manual inside of here that's very, very in-depth. There's a lot of functionality to this thing. And it's not very easy to figure out just from looking at all the buttons as to what they do. So you really have to read up on it. Um, it comes with a fancy little curing strap. Uh, a handheld reflector. So I guess you could stand far away and have somebody shoot a beam at it. Um, and then a warranty card that talks all about their warranty. So um, let's start out first by opening this guy up. So right off the bat when I open it up, like this thing feels quality. Like it really feels rigid and I like the texture of it. It's grippy. Um, I feel like I could drop this thing on the ground and it would still last. I don't know, it just feels, it feels rough here. Like it feels smooth, but it feels like rugged, I guess. Um, Let's see, looks like it takes three AAA batteries, um, which, you know, that'll last a long time. What the hell? There we go. Um, if you look at it, it's got this, uh, this little threaded part so that you can sit this thing on a tripod and you could actually like shoot a distance that way and then turn it and shoot a distance that way because this thing actually has the functionality inside of it that uh, you can shoot it in, uh, you can get square footage out of it. So you can get the area of a room or you know like square footage of a house um, just by shooting all the different rooms, which is super helpful. I don't know that I would personally need to do that. Maybe if I'm trying to bid a job and I'm trying to figure out square footage wise and bid off of square footage, um, that would be pretty helpful, but there's also volume, which is another, like adding another dimension, you can do length, width, and height and get the entire volume of a building. Um, I definitely would have no use for that. I don't know, you know, maybe concrete guys or somebody, I, I don't really know who would use volume, maybe AC guys. Uh, I don't really know, you know, I think that they would calculate volume for like airflow and how much, but I don't know. That's just an assumption. I don't know. Um, so anyways, this uh, right off the bat up in the top corner of this thing, there's this little there's this little uh, icon up there that shows from that you can you can take your distance from the back side of this thing so you can butt it up against the wall and it takes distance from back here or you can do it from the middle of the device where your hand is or you can do it from the front of the device. So when you stand there, whatever your measurement is from the front, you know, you can adjust that on here, which is pretty cool. Um, this thing will do, let's see, you can actually record, I believe, uh, different dimensions. There's an angle uh, deal on there, like it'll actually show the, the angle and the pitch that this thing is at, uh, which that's really fucking cool. Um, but each option that you sit and play with, like notice how each one of these things changes. So you can shoot angles, um, you can get, you know, length, width, volume, like it's really, really in depth. And you, have, <laughs> the unfortunate thing is like the, what's on these buttons doesn't make sense to me. You know, just off the, off the like first glance looking at them, it's not easy to figure out like how do I adjust this, you know, like to figure out how to get this thing in feet and inches because it comes factory in meters. I had to sit and dick around with it and then I'm like, what the hell, you know, I can't figure this out. So I had to open this manual up and, you know, this manual is like, it's pretty stout. So you got to sit and read this whole thing and figure out, you know, like how just 
look everything up and figure out how to change it. So that's my only, like, I guess, complaint about the thing, is that uh, you got to sit and kind of figure it out. Nothing's really that obvious. Um, the second thing that I don't like about this one is it's only 50 meters, 164 feet. I personally would probably use, like, the 100 meter. So you're talking, like, 340 feet, 350 feet, something like that. Um, because across a building, you know, like, or pipe runs that I'm doing or measuring for underground so I can run feeders. I just need more distance than that. So um, they have a model. They have the 100M, they have a 40M, a 50M, and that's all 100 meter, 40 meter, 50 meter, um, which I think this is just overseas made because uh, nothing in a made in America would be in meters. Everything would be in, in, you know, standard feet and inches. What was really cool about this too is uh, when you shoot you can adjust what the reading is. You can get just feet, like where it's rounded to the nearest foot. You can get feet and inches. You can even get feet, inches, and fractions. So I got the chance to actually use this guy the other day. Um, I was at a job and I was outside. Um, when I was inside, you know, like I, I was actually inside my house at one point and I took a measurement all the way across my house and my house is, I don't know, maybe like 60 feet long in one particular area. Um, so I was able to go from one side of the house and shoot a laser all the way to the other side. It wasn't very, like, bright in the house. It was, you know, just, we didn't have any lights on, but it was the middle of the day. And I could still see the laser. It wasn't super bright, but I was able to identify it. And it was very accurate. I went and tested it with a tape measure. Everything worked just fine on it. So, I mean, it's accurate, definitely. And it works perfectly indoors. But this job that I went to, um, I was trying to figure out, we had an underground run. We built a service that was out by a road, and we had to trench 450 feet for one of the runs and like 138 feet for another one of the runs. We had two of these to do, two different properties, but the same exact thing going on. And uh, so I thought, 450 feet, man. I'm going to pull this thing out instead of pulling my 100-foot you know, tape measure out and having to sit and like mark the ground and, and just keep walking across the 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 distance I figured this would be a good tool to at least test out so uh, pulled this thing out and I stood up by the panel and I stuck the back of this thing on the panel and shot down and I had somebody standing probably I don't know maybe a hundred feet away we were just trying to test it and I knew that the laser already was not going to be strong enough to get much past that so put this thing on the panel and I shot a beam down and I tried hitting the guy that was standing down for me and he was wearing a black shirt so I thought it'd be pretty damn easy to hit him and I could not for the life of me find him with this laser and it was bright I mean it was super bright out it was not over overcast there was no clouds at all um, but I just could not do it and so after sitting there trying to dick around for a while finding him and failing at it I put my hand in front of it and I'm like okay I do have a beam I'm not screwing something up on here because every once in a while when you push one of these buttons you don't get a beam because like I said, the buttons are kind of weird figuring out which one does what. So anyways, I, uh, I hit the ground with it and I could see it on the ground just barely. And I followed it for about 10, 15 feet and I just lost it and I could not keep track of it anywhere. And I mean, this isn't, you know, dirt. So it's like dark dirt. It's not like it was like a weird texture on the ground to be able to try to find this beam. But I still think that after 10 or 15 feet, there should be a strong enough laser on this thing that you can I easily identify and just follow that thing up over a certain distance. So I could not for the life of me, I tried a whole bunch of different ways to, to hit my friend. So I went down where he was. I went about 100 feet away from the panel and I just switched directions. And I went from where he's at to try to hit the service panel. Our panels, you know, we had one meter and then we had two uh, panels that fed two different buildings essentially. So it was a pretty big area, you know, it's probably like four feet wide by four feet tall big enough surface area where i could definitely stand 100 feet away and hit this laser and hit something over there but same shit man 100 feet away i sat and hit the laser and i could not hit any of those panels so it was a hundred percent ineffective when i used it outdoors um and I kept, like I said, I kept putting my hand in front of it just to see, like, am I fucking this thing up? There's no way that I'm not seeing that. But I couldn't. So um, just 50% of the time, this thing's great. The other 50% of the time is completely useless. And that's unfortunate because for what it does do, it's really, really good at um, just a little bit more development, I think, is, is all that's needed. 
All right, so my honest assessment of this guy is uh, I think I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Um, my rating system is 1, means it's a complete and utter piece of shit, don't buy it. Uh, number 2 means that, you know, it's got some value maybe to some people, but not very much value. Still needs a lot of work on the design. Um, three stars means that I have, I, I see a lot of value in it and I probably would use it for 50% of its needs or, you know, 50% of my work I would use it, but the other 50% it misses the mark um, and it would probably just sit in my truck and not get used um, more often than it would actually get used because it's an everyday useful thing. Uh, four stars means that I would use the shit out of it. It's amazing. Um, I really, really like it, but there might be a little couple of things that are quirky about it that I just don't like that much and maybe need to change or maybe I could find it a different brand or something like that um, but four stars is still you know like definitely buy this shit um, and five stars means it blew my fucking mind and it's just going to change my life change the way that I work um, so I'm going to give this a 3.5 um, I think that it's it's got a lot of use indoors just outdoors man it just needs a little bit of work and I think that this could be a definitely a four star tool um there's some stuff coming out by some other brands. I'm not really going to talk about it, but I know that they have digital displays where it's like a camera phone. It's like your phone where it's actually like a video screen and you can like swipe out and actually see the video of what you're shooting at and you can zoom in to see where the beam is. Um, that would be a really cool thing on here. But again, I'm not trying to compare this to other brands and that has, you know, basis on what my rating is. I'm just saying that 3.5 stars for how this tool, how I think this tool is put together by the company that built it. Um, but again, that doesn't, that doesn't mean it's bad, it just means that there's, I think there's more work to be done on it. So, um, still a very good tool. I'm gonna put a link to this. If any of you are interested in getting one of these, I still think that there's a lot of value in it. Um, especially if you work indoors and you're working in buildings and you're constantly trying to measure things that are indoors, this thing's spot on. You know, like it's a very, very good tool. Um, that's why I put an extra 0.5 on it for the 3.5. Um, so I'm going to put a link in the uh, the actual blog post so that you guys can find this and go to their site and buy them. Um, and uh, I'm also going to put some related products down on the bottom so that you can like go to Amazon and view like just other kinds of uh, other brands that are also doing the same kind of thing. And they're just related products. So I um, hope you guys got some value out of this. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.